Hello everyone, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. Want to bring you a story, short clip on Steve Bannon. He's back in the, you know, limelight again, and he is uh, allegedly to be indicted on today. And now he says that they will have to K him, but yet and still he's turning himself in. So let's get into why he is uh, talking like this and why he's going to actually turn himself in. Now, if you remember, he was the former White House chief of strategist and senior advisor. And it is reported that he is getting indicted again as of today uh, in New York. Now, he is being indicted on fraud charges, and that is what the Washington Post reported on Tuesday. Now, this is all alleged, but I'm reporting it. Now, the details of the New York case are unclear against Bannon because the indictment is sealed. So they haven't sealed it. They have sealed the indictment. And so, but they're expecting that these charges are going to be a federal, you know, they're going to resemble the federal mail fraud and money laundering charges related to the We Build the Wall scam Bannon was indicted for in 2020. Now, Bannon and three alleged co-conspirators were indicted that year for their GoFundMe campaign. Because you know they did a campaign to raise money to build X-45's uh, proposed wall along the U.S.-Mexico border. Now, the campaign raised more than $25 million, but federal prosecutors allege that Bannon took more than $1 million for personal expenses, including plastic surgery, jewelry, and a golf cart. And you know that 45 had pardoned Bannon on those charges in his final hours as president. But you know what? A presidential pardon does not apply to state cases. Now let's get back into this thing about this, you know, um, him using the money for plastic surgery. It didn't work. So whoever the plastic surgeon was, uh, they need a little more practice unless... <clears throat> unless they just could not do anything for him. But they took his money, right? They took his money, allegedly, but they still didn't really, uh, you know, make him look better than what he looks like because, to me, plastic surgery is supposed to enhance your looks, uh, Bannon, but that doesn't seem to have a cure with this money. So did you really spend it on some plastic surgery, dude? Because... You don't look like you had plastic surgery. Most people that have plastic surgery look a little better or even a lot better than what they look like. But apparently plastic surgery does not uh, get you or encourage you to go and shower and clean your hair up and make it look like you, you know, have had some type of uh, hygiene grooming done. So uh, enough of that, enough of that with Bannon, Bannon, because he's a trip, you know, and even when he comes out and how he be talking and there are several pictures of him out there, he just don't look like a well taken care of, uh, you know, man per se. But anyway, anyway, he actually, um, you know, Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg's office declined comment in an email to Vice News Wednesday morning. And so, you know, Bannon is calling the charges phony and a partisan political weaponization of the criminal justice system in a statement to NBC News. Now, why does the charges always have to be phony and a weaponization of the criminal system? But when they do things wrong to, you know, melanated people, it's just a matter of, well, they did it, and nobody speaks out like they should. But when it comes down to them, it's just a weaponization of the criminal system or a misuse of the justice system. And when we speak out about the misuse of the justice system and judicial corruption and, and things like that, we are shut down and saying we're playing the victim card. And I get tired of hearing that because, you know what, there are some people that have played the victim card, especially with the Me Too movement, you know, and the liberal feminist group. Yes, victims for profit and all of that stuff. They have played the victim card, and some people are still playing the victim card, as we can see in some of the past cases and case that's going on right now. But uh, when we uh, are speaking out, that's what we're told. 
But when they speak out, oh, you know, it's a weaponization of the criminal justice system. They just want to get me because they couldn't get me before. And, and uh, you know, the phony, these are phony charges. And, and this is nothing but a partisan political situation. And, and they just want me because they after, you know, 45 too. You know, we hearing all these stories. But, you know, of course, everyone is should be, you know, presumed innocent and to proven guilty, of course. And, and people are entitled to their due process. You know, it's just interesting how things are violated when it comes to our color of skin. And I'm just being real, and this is not playing the victim card. We see what we see, right, you all? Well, he also goes on to say, Bannon, and that, that was not what he was saying. That was with some of the stuff I was saying. But he goes on to say in the article, I'm proud to be a leading voice on protecting our borders and building a wall to keep our country safe from drugs and violent criminals. Now, guess what? We have a lot of violent criminals right here in America. We have a lot of drugs right here in America. So if they have come across, but they're still doing the drugs here, and then you have a lot of guns that are being used to kill other people. So you are proud to be a leading voice on protecting our borders and building a wall to keep our country safe. But why aren't you trying to help keep our country safe right here in our own country? You know, with all the crime that's going on and the killings, and I have a video I'm going to do on this, the young man that went around killing in Memphis and rest, bless those people's heart and condolences to the families of members that have lost their loved ones with that Memphis shooter going around shooting people and murdering people. That's so sad. But getting back to this, he's saying that they are coming after all of us, not only 45 and myself. This is what he's saying. They're coming after all of us. But you know, I, I don't condone violence and I don't condone, you know, people being mistreated and, and, and if people are innocent, you know, I don't condone, you know, injustice against anyone. But guess what? This is the thing. Aren't they coming after a lot of, you know, people of uh, melanated skin? A lot of those black rich men are being, you know, uh, sought after at a higher rate and trying to incarcerate them in the judicial system. So Bannon, you're not an exception to the rule, brother. You know, and I mean WB, white brother. You are not an exception to the rule. So you have got to go through your little process as well. So you know what? You're not going to stop fighting? Okay. And in fact, you said you have not yet begun the fight. This is what you're saying, huh, Bannon? You're saying you have not yet begun the fight? You said they will have to K you first. Wow, Bannon. But then you are vowing to turn yourself in. You said, I'm going to turn myself in, but I'm going to fight. I'm going to continue to fight. And he, and he says that he hasn't begun the fight. So let's see how that turns out. Let's see how this turns out with him. You know what I'm saying? Because despite that vow to fight the charges to the DATH, you know, the unalive, you know, he says he is expected to turn himself in Thursday, the Post reported. Now, mm, I guess that doesn't mean you can't turn yourself in. Maybe he's talking about he's going to have all his legal team and he's going to get his, you know, his little cronies and constituents, you know, and the people that followed him that still brainwashed and they even allowed, they donated and he stole the money and took it for personal things while them other folks are still, still struggling. Let me tell you something. A lot of times people like that, to take up GoFundMes, they have their own money and they're not willing to spend their own money. And they will take money from innocent donors, even people struggling that have been brainwashed or they have been uh, manipulated into certain situations or they get a battery put in their back by other people or family members saying, yeah, you got to be a part of us. You got to do it. You know, are you with us or are you not? And people start to feel forced to coerce or coerced into things. You should never, ever be put, get yourself put into something that you are uncomfortable about, you're not sure about. Or, you know, that you just know isn't right. Don't let people do that to you. Because now you have given this money, whoever the donors were, gave money, and he misused some of the money. See, this is what we're talking about. You have to be very careful about the cause that you are going to give to. Because you have folks out here that are rich, that have money, and they're taking up money, money to do their own personal agenda for whatever reason. And they're misusing the money. See, my thing is, if you was going to misuse that money, Bannon, out of the plastic surgery, you should look like you had plastic surgery. I would want a refund. Who is that plastic surgery surgeon that did your surgery, that allegedly did it? Because I would be asking for a refund. Definitely asking for a refund because 
Uh, it doesn't look like anything has take, it transpired with you. I looked at some pictures, and, and, and it just, you look the same to me. You really do look the same. Now, I could be wrong. Folks, correct me if I'm wrong, and I'll stand corrected, of course. But look, if you're stealing my money and misusing it after, well, I would say I voluntarily, not me per se, but the donor that voluntarily, you know, the donors that voluntarily gave, then you turn around and say you had some plastic surgery. I would want a refund big time. And then I would want to just take you and file a civil civil case against you just to get the money back for the plastic surgery. And then he went and bought a golf cart. Allegedly, they said he used the money to buy a golf cart. Now, I can't go play golf every day like I want to. And, you know, I'm not even a golf person, but I knew I know I have good friends that were golf people, uh, and, you know, and um, they love to play golf. And they just out there playing nicely and comfortable and not a care in the world and they ride around on their golf carts wouldn't you want to do that to the donors that gave wouldn't you want to live that type of life that bannon was living with the money that you gave and then they said he bought jewelry well what type of jewelry i didn't see no jewelry so what type of jewelry did he buy it for a woman did he buy it for another man because you know we don't know these days right uh what did he do he uh you know with that jewelry that he allegedly bought and then those personal expenses can we get a get a uh <clears throat> excuse me some receipts can we get a, a a a report of the money that he used you know for these the money for the personal expenses everybody seems to have to have money these days and people a lot of them are struggling to pay their rent and pay their bills it's been a lot since the pandemic and you know things like that and some people really are still struggling and some of it is not because of them they're just can't get ahead and then you have certain things going on now with bank of america you know wanting to charge exorbitant fees for ppp loans that were supposed to turn into grants so it's a lot of this going on and folks still giving money man you better hold on to your bible and your money because this is what's going on in society and we see it but the people that's supporting this man and he's taking money from them i would really want to hope that you're not struggling financially your kids are fed if you have children your mortgage is paid for your rent you know you have your necessity needs and maybe even a little more because at this point uh letting someone manipulate you and taking money giving excuse me giving money for a gofundme now let's see if he's gonna try to raise some money for for this legal fight that he has unless he still has some of the money that he put aside you know uh to use that to fight these new uh charges that he's facing with this alleged indictment that's supposed to happen so thank you all for tuning in of course i i uh appreciate each and every one of you uh don't forget to like the video thumbs up give it a thumbs up just click that thumbs up button share the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber and even if you're not a subscriber you're more than welcome to visit my channel and to look at any of my commentary and then please leave your respectful comments below and if you want to give to the channel donate you're more than welcome to do that as well now the copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the copyright act 1976 allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism comment news reporting scholarship and research Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use and entertainment purposes only. Because there are some things in here that I'm sure you can be entertained by because Steve Bannon does not look like he had plastic surgery. You all donors should be asking for a refund. God bless you all on today. Peace out.